Okay, so this is counting section four, and we're going to do problems numbers three and four from the homework from this section. Um, problem number three is in a lottery game, we have a player picks six numbers from one to 48. If four of the six numbers match those drawn, then the player will win third prize. And we basically want to know how many ways is there to get this third prize. Okay, so um, the first thing is that um, we want four of the six numbers to actually match the, the winning numbers. And we're picking six numbers. <clears throat> okay, so if there's only six winning numbers, then for four of those to match, we're drawing, we're actually drawing from that set of six. So we have to think about the winning numbers. And then we're also going to have, so there's four winning numbers is what we're trying to count here. And then we actually have two non-winning numbers. Or let me just write losing numbers. Okay, so we need to count those as well because we're choosing a total of six. Okay, so the winning numbers, remember when you're counting, you're always deciding what am I drawing from, what set am I drawing from, and how many am I counting. There's, if there's only six winning numbers and we're trying to draw four of them, then the way that we would count the winning numbers <clears throat> would be a combination of six things taken four at a time. Okay, so that piece would count the winning numbers. And then the losing numbers, this is very similar to our card problems. Um, if we have six winning numbers and 48 numbers total, then we know that we have 42 numbers that are non-winning numbers, or in other words, losing numbers. So when we go to count the losing numbers, we have to choose from that set of 42 um, because the, the six winning numbers, we're choosing four of them here. Those other two winning numbers that we aren't counting here can't be used here because then that changes this into more than four winning numbers. Okay, so we only have 42 numbers to choose from right here, and we're trying to choose two of them. So the <clears throat> we would use the basic counting law here to join those two items that we're counting separately. And so this would be a combination of six things taken four at a time times a combination of 42 things taken two at a time. Now, in problem number four changes this slightly. Um, and the, the wording becomes very important here. So this is basically the same problem with a little bit different wording. And the wording where it changes right here is that the numbers are drawn in the exact order. So they're telling you order is important here. Um, whereas over here, it's not important. If one of your winning numbers is drawn first or if it's drawn last, it doesn't matter. It's still a winning number. But here we're saying that the order is important. So the way that that changes uh, um, us counting the winning numbers is that's just going to be a permutation instead of a combination. So we're still trying to count four winning numbers but because the ordering matters, this now becomes a permutation of six things taken four at a time. And the losing numbers were still, the losing numbers, the ordering doesn't matter because it's just, they're, we're not trying to match those. So the losing numbers are actually still a combination. This is still just a combination of 42 things taken two at a time. Um, because what they're talking about here is the winning numbers being drawn in the exact order. The losing numbers, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, so we would call the losing numbers here a combination of 42 things taken two at a time. So that would be our answer there for the fourth one. And that's it in these problems.